We made it to the very end. This is the last lecture of the class and it includes the three assignments left for the semester and then that's it. Then you are done and you are a new media professional. What I want to do is sum up a few things and cover up of ways that we as new media experts and professionals get to understand how things will be progressing into the future because it's going to happen during your lifetime. So much happens and so much advances in such a short period of time, it's important for us to be critical thinkers, smart consumers, and better communicators as technology shifts. So as you know by now, new media isn't a technology or any technology, it's really how we are as communication, how we do communication in a world of emerging technologies. When things change or new apps appear or new ways or new communication outlets appear online, we change as people. Now in that change, we are responsible for each other and how we are as mature thinkers. Throughout the semester, you get to see a few things that have shifted. This newest semester brought us populism in digital spaces. It brought us YouTube shifts. I mean, you've seen the last few weeks some of the news reports about how YouTube is changing a lot of its algorithms and how they're hiring new people to um, be content moderators. Things happen very rapidly. So in this last lecture, which is going to be a little bit longer than the usual ones, I'm going to sum up and teach you the last few things about future media literacies, and you'll respond to that in certain ways. So the first thing I want to do is break down a scene in Her and talk about Her as a film and why we watch it in Intro to New Media. Her is about the singularity. Now, Her is one of the best movies about the singularity. I would say the other one is Ex Machina, and we watch that one in History of Digital Media. And the singularity is a moment that will likely happen in your lifetime. Now, what the singularity is, is a moment in our lifetime where we have created a robot or a robotic algorithm or some sort of code that has consciousness. And what that means is it can think like a human. It can feel or have empathy the way that a human does. And so her really does show that through Samantha, the, the robot inside of Theo's pocket that basically learns as the movie goes on to be human and have humanistic traits. That being said, Samantha is never a human. Samantha is lines of code that learn to mimic human characteristics. And so first, make sure you're watching this lecture after you've done the paper because it's about to give away the answer. I'm just gonna set this up so it's in order anyway, but her, as some of you have actually understood, her is Theo's ex-wife. That is who she is when I'm asking who that is. Remember, her is a gendered pronoun. Samantha doesn't actually have a gender. Theo chooses the gender at the beginning when, he said, when he's asked, what would you like her to be? Would you, would, what would you like OS1 to be, male or female? And he chooses female. Then she, at that point, as she becomes gendered, names herself Samantha because she reads a book about baby names. And so that is given to us as an audience how gender appears in that case. But in, when asked the question of who is she, it actually refers to Theo's ex-wife because the movie's quite simple when you break it down. Theo is a man in, after, in the post-singularity, in the age of the singularity, at a point where the OS has become sentient, and he's going through a tough time. So he uses a tool to get through his breakup. That's the film. That's it. It's a very simple film, but in the middle of it, you get to experience what it's like to know, literally know what a robot can be or how it can think. In a conscious state, how can we as humans know the difference between uh, communication with a robot or communication with other human beings? As algorithms get better and singularity gets closer, are we closer to mistaking robots as human? So I'm gonna show you this quick scene in the film. We're gonna look, look at it real quick. It's the following video. And it's that three minute scene of the gameplay. And I want you to take a look at this because I'm going to break this scene down so you can see how in this one scene we understand the movie Her.